Hi guys, recently I've been getting a few emails with people asking me how to upload pictures properly or correctly to a new WordPress post and a few of you guys are having a bit of trouble with the anchor text so I just thought I'd make a quick video and give a demonstration on how this works and hopefully get you guys back on the right track and help you get things working properly. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to go and set up our anchor text and we'll add a link inside an anchor text. So I've already got a blog post here that I've got ready and what I'll do is I'll come down to one particular keyword that I've written in and I'm going to add an anchor text to this particular keyword here. So all I need to do is highlight that keyword and then I'm going to head over to another post that I have that I'm going to link back to and then all I need to do is highlight that link the SEO optimization link copy it and then head back to the post that we're doing and click the little chain link see the little chain link here okay we just click that that opens the insert and edit link box um, and then all I need to do is right click and paste that link into there and now for the target we're going to give it I always give it open link in a new window it keeps people on your side if you've got other links going to other places title I'm just going to give it the same title SEO optimization class I'm not going to set a class I'm just going to leave the classes not set as you can see you've got a few a line left a line right captions and galleries Okay, so I'm just going to not set a class, and then I'll click the insert button. Now, what I probably should have done was unbolded this text. If that text is bold, it might play up a bit. So let's just go and check that that particular link has worked. Okay, it's still there, so that's cool. So just click update. That's it. That's how you add a link as an anchor text. Now, if you've added the wrong link and you want to delete, you can simply simply click the broken chain link here and that'll remove the link from that particular keyword now if we want to go and add a picture to our post that's quite simple there's a couple of ways we can do this I'm actually using the latest version of WordPress that's WordPress 2.9 it's had some excellent upgrades in the last couple of weeks and um, the WordPress 2.9 is very simple and very user-friendly very easy to use and I am actually using a paid version of WordPress which is a WordPress thesis theme um, we chose this theme because it's very robust there's a lot of things that you can do with it that you can't do with other free WordPress sites and other paid WordPress themes and it's also very it's also very SEO friendly so it's search engine optimized to help uh, make it easier for you to set things up in an SEO friendly way so now to go and add a picture all we need to do let's just say I wanted to add a picture right here in the top left hand corner all I need to do is click there in the top left hand corner or let's say I wanted to add a picture in the middle of the post all I need to do is click here at the end of the heading or the title okay but I'm just want to add a picture right here in the top left hand corner of the post um, I could do the same by simply clicking in the middle of the post and then I could add a picture right here simply by going to the add an image button that you'll find right here but for now I'm just going to go and put this image in the top left hand corner in front of the title so all I need to do is make sure I've clicked in the top left hand corner of the post and then click add an image and then pull this image from the computer okay select files that's the image I want so I'm going to open that image for alternate text just to help the search engines find this picture and find things a lot easier we need to give this a very good descriptive alternate text so I'm going to call it free free press release for a description okay you want to make your description inviting you want to make it something that people will read and give them incentive or make them feel like they need to read what this is all about okay that's a good description makes someone want to go the next step click to see what this post is actually all about so with this picture if someone happens to be searching for pictures on Google they may come across this picture and with the description it'll help drive more traffic to our website okay so now I just need to select the position where I want this picture to go as you can see you can give it a none a center or a right so what I want is 
top left center and I want full size so they're both correct and then all I need to do is insert that into the post and there it is so when I go and view the post that picture will be there but the way this is working at the moment it's not going to be there in my thumbnails in my thumbnail posts so what I'll do is I'll delete this picture simply by clicking on it and then clicking the little delete image tab there now the other way you can do this and add a thumbnail with this image at the same time so people when they view when they're viewing your home page they'll see the thumbnail image as well you'll have to go to the media tab and then add new okay um, before you do this you will have to update your post so I've already done that so that's cool I can just do this then I'll select the files that I want okay I want this one alternate text again free press release description again okay make a good description 20 plus okay then we simply once we've got our description in place we simply save all the changes now as you can see I've already got quite a few in here already of the same thing um, this is the latest so what I'll do is I'll now to update or to upload this to the post we've just made we're going to click edit um, and then we're going to triple click on the file URL okay that's triple left click that highlights everything in that line and then we just simply right click copy that and then we head back to the post and then edit and then free press release okay that's the post we want to edit so we click edit down here if you're using the right WordPress plugins you should be able to post an image and a thumbnail at the same time so I've already got one in here I've already got this exact same image in here with the same description so I'll just leave that but what you do is you'd highlight or there'd be nothing there and you just right click paste and then all we need to do is update the post I've already done all this so all you'll need to do is update the post and then go to your view post link okay there's the post now if we go to the home page that should be there okay so there it is there's your thumbnail image it's gone in there automatically and then if you want to check the post read the full article I mean your site might be set up differently to this of course but basically the concept is still the same okay now before we go there's something I forgot a couple of people have emailed me and said that when they try to add anchor text that for some reason everything's highlighting now I don't really know why the post area would do this the only advice I can think to offer is let's imagine that you're trying to highlight these three words and everything is highlighting the only thing I can think to do for this particular problem is to separate the lines separate everything then go and make this the anchor text which I'm not going to do now but put the anchor text in there and then simply backspace and backspace and then you may have to put may have to separate the text again and then that should sort that problem out hopefully okay so I hope this has helped sort out a few problems for you guys that have been having a few issues don't forget if you do have any questions if you have any problems the best thing to do is post a comment on the blog but if you want to email me that's fine send me an email and I'll do my best to help you guys sort out any problems that you may be having